So we started living together. He'd go to work, he'd come home, I'd mix him a drink, we'd have dinner. It was like heaven in two bathrooms. And then I found out, single, he told me, single my ass. Not only was he married, oh no, he had six wives, one of those Mormons, you know. So that night when he came home, I mixed him his drink as usual. You know, some guys just can't hold their arsenic. <laughs> Alvin Witch, it's more than I can possibly say. He was a real artistic guy, sensitive, a painter. But one, but he was troubled. He was always trying to find himself. He'd go out every night looking for himself. And on the way, he found Ruth, Gladys, Rosemary, and Irving. I guess you can say because we broke up because of our artistic differences. He saw himself as alive, and I saw him dead. <laughs> Superstar Chicago lawyer Billy Flynn. While becoming an overnight sensation, she confesses that her dream was always to be have her name in the papers and to be a dancer in Bothell. And in this next number, surrounded by a chorus of Broadway's finest gentlemen, her vision is realized. Are we ready for a little Roxy, everyone? Put yeah. Roxy on your phones. I need some help here, okay? <laughs> here we go. If this friend guy gets you. And with all this publicity, I could still get into Bible. I could still have my own act. Now, I got me a world full of yeah. The name on everybody's lips is gonna be Roxy. The lady raking in the chips is gonna be gonna be a celebrity that means somebody everyone knows. They're gonna recognize my eyes, my hair, my teeth, my boots, my boots. <laughs> From just some dumb mechanics wife I'm gonna Thank <laughs> you. 
need a little help on this one. So now, Miss Roxy Hart. She's a gigantic celebrity. But what about poor Amos Hart? Her poor husband, who first took the fall for the murder, who tried to come up for the $5,000 and yet no one seems to notice. Here is Mr. Cellophane, the famous lament about the ever not so famous Mr. Amos Hart. If someone stood up in a crowd and raised his voice up way out loud and waved his arm and shook his leg, you'd notice it. If someone in a movie show yelled fire in the second row, this whole place is a powder keg. Like a hen. Everyone gets noticed now and then. Unless, of course, that personage should be invisible, inconsequential. around them, these powerful women sing a rousing power ballad about having to look out for themselves to close up Act 1, entitled, I Am My Own Best Friend. For the purposes of today, we will of course do this the Liza Minnelli way, meaning one giant big solo, all together. Are we ready to sing a massive power ballad together? Because yeah. okay. I don't want to do this alone. 
And now, ladies and gentlemen, Miss Roxy Hart and Miss Velma Kelly sing a song with unrelenting determination and unmitigated. One thing I know, and I've always known, I am my own. Babies alive, but babies alone, and babies are own best friend. Hey. 